Hello, Anselm Griffin here with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB and ThingSpeak. Today's uh, YouTube video is to explain how to send email alerts from ThingSpeak. So we're going to look at the problem in a second. So first of all, some credits here. The inspiration came from uh, number two there, hackster.io. And for later on, uh, Detail up on the web write application became on bullet points four and five. So what we have here is uh, a bay in Massachusetts, Ockway Bay, and we have a pole and there's a sensor there. And the sensor is an ultrasonic sensor and it measures the depth of the from there, the bottom of the sensor, to the water surface and you know the depth from the sensor to the bottom of the water to the mud and by subtracting the two you get the depth of the water so what we want to be able to do is send you an alert some way to let you know whether it's safe for you to enter or leave Aqua Bay okay so there's the aim uh, email alerts directly from things big script and then using a timer a time control alert there's my objectives um, get the tidal depths the last 30 minutes determine if the tide is going in or out determine if the depth of water is adequate for a boat of 20 inches send an email alert using the script and send an email alert using a time control now going out to here have a little look so you would if you were doing this from scratch you would go to uh, MATLAB analysis you would do new and you'd write the code now obviously I have the code written down here so it's this one here water depth 2 might zoom that a little bit so you can see it So, um, just to give a bit of credit there, that's how to send the email alert, the timer alert. So we're going to say for our purposes, it's 20 inches. You know, if the that's the critical value. If it's 20 inches or less, your boat is going to get stuck. More than 20 inches, you're safe. So this line here. Uh, I read the channel that I showed there, that's channel 5289. I read field one and I read it for 30 minutes and there's a reading every five minutes. So I've got the last six readings. Line 26, uh, 3449. So that's the depth from the top of the sensor to the, to the mud. Subtract the range and then divide by 24.5 and you've converted from millimetres, I think I said centimetres, you convert from millimetres to inches. Okay. So, uh, depth, then, if you do a whose depth will return it as a six by one, but to get min and max to work, I'm just transposed depth on that line there. And I got the minimum depth, and I got the maximum depth. Line 37, 38, I printed out the two values. And on line 42 and 43, I found the index to the minimum depth and the maximum depth. And the reason I wanted to do that was I wanted to work out whether the tide was going in or out. So f say, for instance, the, mac the minimum depth was... Uh, uh, reading one and the maximum depth is reading six obviously the tide is coming in so the, t the tide is coming in and then vice versa uh, the tide would be going out so I've determined that the index whether it's now it should be one and six or six and one but you never know there might be a slight you know big wave or something going on so that's why I took the last six readings the last 30 minutes there's four possibilities. So 
there's the tide coming in and the minimum depth is greater than uh, the action line. And remember, the action line above is 20 inches. So there's four possibilities there. And I did an if, else, if, else, if, else. Okay, so, and I've commented there. I suppose I should have said tide coming in and... Um, depth greater than 20 just to give it something like that okay and I've tied coming in but below the safe water level so you might have to wait a bit this one here tide going out and you're below the safe water level so you're in real trouble if that's the case and then this one here you're, it's above 20 inches, but the tide is going out, so you don't have to be careful. So, just scroll down here a bit. I'm just going to save, I put in that extra little comment. So, what I think of it, I'm going to save it. The code here to do the, um, the web write, it came from. Just to give your man the credit there. Now he had it for a different channel. He had it for a soil moisture. So it's plants and he had it there and then there. That's how I base mine on it. So between the two of us, you should be able to do the web right there. Okay. Not going through it line by line. It's okay. Now, just one or two other things to know. Where are you going to get your alert API key from? Well, if you go to here, if you go to, I just have a different screen up. If you go to your profile and you want them to set, there's your alert API key. So when I'm finished, I'll have to regenerate these because. Anybody looking at this would be able to see it. If they're able to see it, then they'll be able to use my um, account. So I don't want that to happen. So that lad there is your alert API key. Okay, so if you just run that. Now, I don't want to run it because I don't want to open my email and let you see it. But if you run that, you will get an email message. So if I just go back to my slides here. I've mentioned that before. There's my alert API key. There's the code to send the email alert. And I ran this yesterday. And then you can see it there. So when I ran it yesterday at the 28th of April 2020 at 12.12, 12, uh, the water depth was greater than 25 or 20 inches or whatever it is. And the tide is coming in. So boat is safe to come in okay now to send a time control email just go back to here a sec you'd want to do this um time control you would you would write the new time control but but as you know, I've this done earlier. So I set this for yesterday. That's yesterday being the 28th of April 2020. I sent it for, for I set it for 1.48 p.m. It was based on the MATLAB analysis. So remember that code there. Remember that code there is that's water depth two is not a visualization it's an analysis no point in writing the code as a visualization it has to be analysis uh, and then the code to execute and you see there it'll check it then so at some specific time you can run that save the time control that's all grand when will that run or when did it run i should say it ran it at um, 
uh, yesterday. I've lost track of the date, but anyway, we're on a new time control, but it's not a new time control, it's yesterday's time control. Uh, just go down, to, sorry, just show you that again. Um, I've lost it ever so slightly. Time control. Um, yeah, there it is. And that, it last ran at the 28th of April, 2021.48. If I edit that, there we are. That's what I wanted to show you. And it would execute water depth check. That's okay. There we are. Screen grab of it over there. Just to show, to show you it worked. There, I don't know if you can see that. 28th of April 2020, 1348 or 148. And that's there. I, I have 25 inches there. I know I said 20 inches, but it doesn't really matter. The thing is good. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.